Hello ladies and gentlemen, now we have a comment from Alec Baldwin to do the Helena Hutchins shooting um, or the Alec Baldwin fatal shooting, however you want to phrase it. I've been doing the coverage here, uh, quite a lot of videos dropped today actually, three, it is a lot I know, I sort of slow down content across the weekends, sometimes depending, uh, obviously this weekend was Halloween so sorry. The three videos dropped today. I hope you've appreciated the coverage. Uh, if you have, follow me over on Twitter and Instagram at Mr. H Reviews. Now, this is interesting um, because th there's nothing sort of grandiose and revealing here. Um, but it also doesn't feel like platitudes either. And there are some bits which are revealed uh, with respect to Alec Baldwin. He, he seems pretty close to the investigation. I mean, he's, he literally says, I'm speaking to the Sheriff's Department every day. Um, and that he's been told not to talk about it, whether it's by his lawyer or the sheriff's department, either or. So let, let's just take a look at the article and then we'll sort of dissect it. So much information, uh, and I'm sure there'll be even more dropping this week. I, I would imagine they want this wrapped up pretty quick because this can go south pretty quick. Um, but here we go. So Alec Baldwin chose to stop and speak with ph photographers today about the rush shooting tragedy as he drove past them in Vermont while out with his family. Now, uh, he says, you know, it marked the first time he's commented on camera about the incident, because he hasn't. He's made passing remarks briefly, quickly, and then that was it. Um, so he says this, a Baldwin and wife, uh, Hil Hil Hilaria, Hilaria, who was filming his interaction, pulled over to talk in Manchester, Vermont. In the course of the four-minute conversation with the group, Baldwin claimed Hutchins was my friend and said he had dinner with her and the director on the first day of filming. Sort of platitudes, I guess, but not massively. Uh, now he says this. A woman died, he said. She was my friend. She was my friend. The day I arrived in Santa Fe to start shooting, I took her to dinner with Joel, the director. We were a very, very well-oiled crew, shooting a film together, and then this horrible event happened. Now... I hate to say it. Well, I mean, I don't hate to say it. It's just the it, it, it's just the truth, isn't it? They weren't a well-oiled machine. You had six crew members walk off, citing safety concerns, uh, and one person specifically complaining about uh, a gun discharging twice, twice in a cabin, firing got twice in a cabin. Uh, you know, and you had to replace everyone. You know that that left with non-union crew members. So it weren't a well-oiled machine. Uh, they weren't paid. You weren't keeping track. You know, you weren't keeping to the contracts either. I mean, that's not good. That's not a well-oiled machine. You know, it's not. It's not at all. Uh, and then this happened. So Baldwin told photographers he had been told by the Santa Fe Sheriff's Office uh, not to talk about the investigation. He said he was eagerly awaiting for the Sheriff's Department to release their findings. And he said he talked to the cops every day. Which, I mean, read into that as much as you like. But, I mean, he will be... I mean, the, 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 he's already been cited as someone that is a potential person of interest. Like, of course he's a person of interest, basically. So, yeah, I mean, of course he's going to be talking to them every day. It makes sense. Now, Hilaria Baldwin interjected when a photographer stuttered Hutchins' name. Uh, rebuking them that you should know her name, Helena. Her name is Helena. Uh, if you're spending this this much time waiting for us, you should know her name, both Baldwins uh, then said. Now, without actually having watched this, that almost seems a bit like a setup. And I don't want to be super conspiratorial there, but, you know, I mean, it's easy to, to mistake someone's name. I get that. But that sort of holier-than-thou quick like, rebuttal and both of them chiming in saying you should know her name. I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't smell of authenticity. To me, I'm not going to lie. Uh, Baldwin said uh, he wouldn't know how to characterise his meeting with Matthew Hutchins, Helena's husband, and her eight-year-old son, Andros. Uh, several times, Alec Baldwin was interrupted by Hilaria, who reminded him, you know what, no details. Which is interesting. It makes sense, though. I mean, if he's if he's quite... Uh, you know, I mean, it's a trauma, isn't it? He's going to want to talk about it, but he needs to know, obviously, that he can't talk about it because he doesn't quite know what's going on. He doesn't know if he's going to, um, well, I mean, essentially put himself in the shit. 
so it's a difficult one to really sort of go around there uh, and obviously being reminded that he you should shut up, shut up, you should probably shut up. But that ties in, like I said, with the fact that he is talking to them every day and potentially they are sort of narrowing down their findings and he may be part of it. Uh, but at one point, Alec Baldwin did take control, telling her, do me a favour, I'm going to answer the questions. Which is interesting. Uh, and, he, and he then said that Matthew Hutchins was overwhelmed with grief. Of course, I mean, look, it's, his wife's just died. Like, Jesus, you would be, wouldn't you? Baldwin also called the onset shooting one in a trillion uh, and called for new measures to enforce set safety. Wrong. And he even says he even says that now. He says, how many bullets have been fired in films and TV shows in the last 75 years? This is America. Probably billions and nearly all of them without incident. Exactly. You don't actually need more onset safety. You need the onset safety to be adhered to, which your production company didn't. We know that. Because your armor has sat there and said there were no live rounds. We we didn't we didn't allow live ammunition. There was a there was a, what? There was a live bullet in the gun. It was a lead bullet. Oh, what are you doing? Come on. Um, you don't need new, you don't need new measures. Don't shift the conversation off to gun enforcement. That's not where the conversation needs to go. The conversation needs to be introspective in this regard. Uh, and I'm guessing this is how Baldwin's going to sort of move this across. You know, oh, nearly all of them without incident. Yeah, of course. He says, it's urgent for you to understand that I'm not an expert in this field. It's whatever people decide. Uh, the couple then asked for photographers to stop following them after they talked out of courtesy and asked for cameras to be turned off. And the thing is here, you know, saying, well, we need new measures to enforce set safety. You know, how many bullets have been fired? Blah, blah, blah. 75 years, billions, nearly all of them without incident. I mean, this hasn't happened for 30 years. Last time this happened, where someone was actually shot and killed, was the crow. You don't need more measures. There's an argument to be had for no live rounds being on set. I, I would agree with that. You don't need live rounds. You just don't. Like, we, you know, we, you can put a man on the moon with bloody CGI right now, right? You can show, you know, we, we can instantly do deep fake face swaps and they're believable. They, they some of them are, are so believable it's insane. You don't need live rounds on a set. You just don't. What you need is the safety on sets to be actually adhered to, like they have been for the last 75 years, with these, like, as you say, Alec Baldwin, you know, billions of bullets being fired and no one being killed. And yet you rock up, uh, and, you know, the 24 year old armourer, Hannah Gutierrez Reed, uh, an assistant director that was fired from a previous film to do with safety concerns and then oh all of a sudden it's like crickets as to why you know why things have gone astray like well of course they've gone astray what were you expecting so there you go uh, an interesting comment does sound to me uh, like he is i mean he, he kind of says he speaks to them every day he's being reminded consistently not to talk I would say that, you know, I mean, he is a person of interest. I would say some of these investigations are very much, well, what's going on? Why did you pull the trigger? What the hell? Maybe. It's interesting, nonetheless. So, I hope you didn't, you know, you sort of appreciated this update. It's uh, it's still an important one. So, I hope you enjoyed it. No, well, not enjoyed it. Appreciated it, nonetheless. But thank you so much. Give the video a like and share it. Thank you so much. Take care.